so today we are going to be learning about mathematical typing for actuarial exams okay so before we start with the video i would want to share a few things so when i actually started myself typing uh, doing mathematical typing in ms word initially two or three days i found it very difficult okay why am i telling you guys this thing right now it's because right now when you will have a look at this video uh, when you'll actually after the video go ahead and practice yourself you could find this or i i i would rather say you will find this difficult okay initially because anything that you learn you take time to get comfortable with that thing right so you have to give that time um uh, in order to get comfortable with all of these uh, all of the typing that we're going to learn in this video right now okay so a, a little request a little suggestion is put your judgments aside uh, every time i'm typing or teaching something i don't want everybody to go ahead and judge oh my god this is difficult um, i don't know how i will do this in the exam you still have two months for the exam you still have time to practice you're going to practice a lot and once you practice you will realize that at the moment whatever i mean how much of a difficulty of finding this it will not even be 20% uh, as difficult i'm not going to say it's not, it's not going to be difficult at all it is going to be difficult because it is new for us we've not done this before so it will be difficult but uh, the amount of difficulty or feeling uh, that this is going to be it's not even going to be 20% of that okay so all that i'm saying right now is keep your judgments aside whenever you are looking at this video like right now the next uh, 10 15 20 minutes i don't know for how long this will go whatever minutes uh, you're going to look at this uh, video for i want everybody to keep the judgments aside just plainly focus on what i am doing how uh, what, what all different methods i'm teaching you guys of uh, of uh, entering that particular mathematical equation into uh, ms word and just enjoy the video try to enjoy the video and try to look at it without any judgment okay and after this for 7 days for 7 days all of you all are going to practice uh, this thing at least i would suggest 20 to 25 minutes for at least 20 to 25 minutes you guys uh, practice this thing and once you practice this for 20 to 25 minutes constantly for 7 days um, uh, i'm very sure you guys will be much better like you guys yourself i think uh, will realize this thing that after 7 days then majority of the things like 90% of the things are very naturally coming out so you don't even have to think what do i have to do for uh, integration or derivatives or if i have to put limits or if i have to uh, put greek alphabet but whatever it is okay so 7 days again without any judgment so first day you're sitting you will do it for 10 minutes you will be screwed up i'm telling you because you won't understand this that's the uh, that's, that's something you're doing it for the first time so you have to relax a bit uh, for the first 2 3 days screw up as much as possible get uh, uh, totally lost while typing there's no problem at all the fourth fifth or sixth day you will pick up the pace required and you will yourself realize if you keep your judgments aside that you will be able to do it much faster than uh, you ever thought of okay so that's a little um, that's a little i mean suggestion i like to give in the beginning itself because once you actually start judging then you know there's no going back uh, but before i actually if i clean up the mind now i'm very sure at least majority of the people would try to look at this video in the form of learning something and something they have to do okay great so let's start with this so the first uh, thing is that we have to insert a tab a mathematical equation tab and how do we insert that we insert by doing alt plus equal to so let's say i have to uh, enter the tab over here what i'll do is i'll press alt uh, you don't have to press plus it's alt as well as equal to so at the same time you have to press alt and equal to if you press alt and equal to you will get the type equation here tab over here okay and in this tab we are going to be doing all of the typing so this tab uh, how do you get it alt equal to so every time you have to type anything you you just have to do alt equal to and you will get this tab all right i hope everybody is um, comfortable with this thing alt and equal to i'm sure everybody knows so i'm not going to go much in detail with that okay so now let's look at greek alphabet it's actually very easy uh, for you to type greek alphabet it's actually not uh, not, not that difficult not at all difficult to be honest so what we do is again uh, everybody remembers okay by the way everybody get comfortable with uh, control z control z is undo so let's say i Uh, did this alt equal to and i got this tab and uh, let's say i did this by mistake and i didn't want this to happen so press control z whatever you've done now uh, gets erased okay so the last step gets erased basically you press control z another time um, uh, another step gets erased okay so anyway 
so i pressed alt equal to now i have to let's say all of your greek alphabets all of your greek alphabets the method is the same for typing it i'm going to tell you the unicode method which is really very easy so let's say i want to type alpha let's say i want to type alpha over here okay how do i do that uh, firstly uh, this backslash sign you got to remember in unicode typing this backslash sign is really very important okay so this backslash backslash i have pressed it's not this sign okay it's not this one by two um, it's not this sign it's the sign opposite of that okay so you will see above your enter above enter you will see uh, this particular uh, sign over there after pressing this alpha i just have to type the spelling of alpha so a l p h a alpha and space done literally that's it i will show it to you guys again i want to press uh, i want to enter alpha over here so i'll press backslash first that's the first thing you do and then the spelling of whatever greek alphabet you want so a l p h a once you're done you press space that's it then it will get um, i mean it gets activated or it gets typed or uh, it, it gets converted into that symbol you can say okay so that is your, about your alpha let's say i want to type beta the process is the same as i said uh, all that you have to do is backslash and the spelling of that so b e t a beta space the beta is right here okay really easy right so whatever you want let's say i want mu so the spelling of mu is m u so backslash and m u that's it it's literally that easy okay let's say if i want to if i want gamma let's say g a m m a gamma done okay uh, whatever it is that you want let's say you want phi phi is right here backslash phi let's say you want theta uh, backslash t h e t a theta okay so backslash again okay now if you want uh, a capital uh, symbol so if you want capital theta what you do is you type the first letter capital so uh, for those who have this uh, they can uh, focus on this otherwise you can ignore this part this is uh, lower case or small theta we can say and if you want capital theta what you will have to do is so for this theta what we did was t h e t a no capital uh, letters right so for capital theta you will have to just press the first letter capital and t h e t a you have your capital theta this is your capital theta for those who know for those who don't have it can absolutely ignore it okay um, so yeah that's it so i hope everybody is comfortable with the greek alphabet let let me just do another one if you want all of them you, you, row this is your row so backslash row just backslash plus the spelling of that okay so um, literally that's it uh, what i would want you guys to do is right now instead of you guys just having a look at the entire video what i would want you guys is to pause the video right now open another file open another word file and i would want you guys to do this with me so right now when i've taught you greek alphabet what i would want you guys to do is have a file open pause the video after i'm done with greek alphabet solve that over there so that you will get comfortable with me because it, it shouldn't happen that you watch a 20 30 minute, minute video and then uh, you've not even solved anything so i would want you guys to solve it with me so pause the video over here open that word file get comfortable with inserting this equation tab and typing these greek alphabets and whatever greek alphabets you have you've learned till now you can try and type those uh, whatever are there in your subject and once you're done then you can resume the video all right great guys so i hope everybody actually paused the video that's why i gave this 5 7 second pause so i hope everybody actually went ahead opened that word file and uh, is doing all of this with me okay so that's about greek alphabet it's really easy right literally black backslash and the spelling and then space you don't have to forget the space all right um now about superscript and subscript so let's say you have so the first thing that you have to do is alt equal to so now it should come naturally okay anything that you want to do what you will do is alt equal to you firstly need the equation tab now let's say i want to write x square okay now let's say i want to write x square you have to understand anything that i want to write in power i will have to include this symbol i will have to include this symbol you can call it like a hat symbol it's it's a superscript symbol so superscript is basically your power subscript is something um, that we write below so i'll show you in a while let's uh, focus on superscript so let's say i want to write x square now how do you get this one by the way shift and 6 shift and 6 if you press um, you will get this one okay so i'll press sh uh, so i'll erase this shift and 6 you will get this all right so x and then i want the power to be 2 right so whatever power is you type after that and then you press space 
as soon as you press space whatever code you've entered that gets activated as i've said okay so we have x square right over here let's say i want to enter uh, alpha square okay now let's so firstly i love to type alpha so what i do is backslash a l p h a alpha and then space so that i get the symbol and now um shift and six which means the cap sign whatever whenever you want something to be in power you have to press this cap sign so alpha raised to let's say uh, alpha raised to four if i want so alpha raised to four and space see if that is making sense all right now let's say i want x square um, or let's say i want x raised to 2x plus 1 let's say i want to put x raised to not just 2 3 4 5 but x raised to a function okay so what i will do x power okay this is going to be constant now what will happen is after that we will put a bracket if we want uh, so what will happen is i'll tell you if we just type x raised to 2x plus 1 see did you see what happened the 2x went into the power but plus 1 remained as it is so what we have to do is only we have to remember this thing that whenever we are entering anything other than like a number or uh, one digit or one letter uh, more than that basically when we want to put a function in the power what you will do is x to the power bracket let's say 2x plus 1 so 2x plus 1 bracket close press space the entire thing will be uh, in the uh, in the power basically okay so that's it it's as simple as that literally as simple as that x to the power this thing and you will have uh, that in the power so let's say um, i want to find beta raised to 3x let's say i want to do okay so what i will do is backslash beta space so that the beta comes actually to the power 3x and space again all right I hope this is clear so whatever it is that you want to put into the power uh, you just have to do that thing raised to x so let's say i want to do now uh, x plus one square uh, let's do that because till now i was taking only one variable or one number uh, below now let's say we have a function raised to something so we will have to put a bracket now okay if we don't put a bracket let's see what happens if i want x plus one square and if i just type x plus one raised to two see what will happen it will only go to the power of one so if you want a function to be raised to something so we'll have to do x plus one raised to two space okay and this also if you want raised to something uh, big enough then what you will have to do is uh, x plus one raised to let's say x plus one raised to three x plus five if you want so raised to bracket 3x plus 5 bracket closed space right so i hope you are understanding whenever you have a function raised to something you will have to put that function into the bracket then again that hat and then whatever power you want and then power whenever it's in function you will put a bracket for that as well okay i hope this is clear with you guys let me put uh, let me show you subscript as well after that then you can go and practice okay i'll just give you a 10 second pause after that so what is subscript now let's understand what is a subscript first so let's say if i want uh, to write x1 plus x2 plus x3 so usually i don't write my x1 like this right i would want my x1 to look something like this isn't it plus x2 uh, plus x3 and so on okay so you must have seen already whatever i did uh, so whenever so this is your subscript basically so whenever you want anything uh, below in that uh, subscript uh, to be written what you do is you uh, type that let's say i want to write x5 so i how will i do that i will firstly type x and just the way we were typing that hat we will now type underscore underscore which is uh, to the right hand side of your zero you will have to press shift and the button to the right hand side of your zero on the uh, in the above uh, line uh, so you can say backspace uh, two steps left to the backspace okay i hope everybody knows underscore i'm sure uh, there's no one who doesn't so x uh, uh, underscore five and then you press space i hope everybody is understanding space is required to activate that code that we have entered okay so then we have x5 all right let's say i have b beta 2 so let's say i have two values of beta beta 1 and beta 2 so beta 1 is 4 beta 3 uh, beta 2 is uh, let me repeat i have two values of beta beta 1 and beta 2 okay so let's say beta 1 is 5 beta 2 is 10 so how do i enter that backslash firstly i'll have to enter beta right then underscore 1 beta 1 uh, again uh, uh, space so that uh, it, it becomes beta 1 so beta 1 is equal to 5 comma uh, again backslash beta uh, and then i'll have to enter underscore 2 so it goes below and then equal to 10 
I hope this is comfortable. Okay. So whenever you want to have anything in the uh, subscript, again, uh, if you want, let's say, um, a function in the subscript. So let's say I want to write x and in the subscript I want 2x plus 1. So again, bracket 2x plus 1. Oh, sorry. Bracket 2x plus 1. Okay, so you'll have to put the bracket if there's a function that needs to go down there. All right. I hope this is comfortable. So again, what I would want you guys is pause the video. Uh, go to your word file that you've opened. Uh, try typing the superscript subscript. Uh, try taking function raised to function, number raised to function, uh, a Greek letter raised to number, Greek letter raised to function, or even in the subscript, you can try different things. And once you're done, you can resume the video. All right, guys, that's great. I hope everybody is actually following whatever I'm telling you guys to. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying as well. It's actually cool, right? How all of this is so easy to type and we were actually thinking. So till now, we're actually going ahead with the very easy stuff. There's a little more difficult stuff coming below, but that also with practice, you will really find very easy. So don't worry at all, all right? So now how to write a fraction. Now it's actually very easy, but I've specifically like you're understanding like a little little thing I've made categories of so that we guys can we can understand um, how each and everything works. Okay, so if I want to write a fraction, let's say if I write, want to write one by four, how do I write it? I literally write it the way I write it in the, uh, I mean, in, in when, if I was to write this so one by this back. So now this is not your backslash. Okay, this is like the normal one, the one that we used to write the date first of let's say, July 2020, right? That one, right? I hope that's clear. So basically, the divided by sign. So one by four, and I press space. See again, it becomes a fraction. See if you guys understand. So whenever you want anything uh, to be written in the form of a fact fraction, what you do is just uh, that thing divided by whatever you want. Let's say I want x by two. So I will press x, then uh, that uh, oblique you can say divided by two. So x by 2 you have it over here okay let's say now if you want if you have a uh, complex co complex um, a, a complex equation you can say let's say i have x plus 1 divided by 4x plus 2 let's say i have x plus 1 divided by 4x plus 2 so how will i do that now firstly the bracket comes into the picture over here okay x plus 1 bracket bracket is very important divided by again bracket 4x plus 2 See, because what will happen is if you do not press that, uh, I mean, if you do not uh, put that bracket, what will happen is I'll tell you. Let's say uh, x plus 1, you put the bracket 4. Now, I hope everybody is understanding, by the way, why that bracket. Because if I don't put the bracket, 4x plus, see what happened. The 4x went into the denominator because it thought that uh, only 4x is supposed to go in the denominator. But if you want the entire 4x plus 2 to go in the denominator, we will have to put the bracket to that. Okay, sometimes what happens is, by the way, let's say you put, a, uh, you put the whole numerator and then you realize that you had to put the bracket sign. So what you can do is, let's say I type x plus 1 and then I realize that, oh, I forgot to uh, put the bracket. Uh, th the bracket for this one is also important because let's see if I just do it this way, divided by 4x plus 2. I'll tell you why this is important as well. See what is happening. It just goes in the, uh, I mean, only one is your numerator and this denominator only goes for one. It's not for the whole x plus one. So if you want that to happen, then what do you do? You will have to put the bracket, right? So I hope everybody is realizing that the brackets are very important. If you do not put the bracket, what will happen is you will not get the, uh, I mean, you will not get your fraction correct, all right? So I hope that's clear. So whatever it is that you want, let's just take another one. Let's say I have um, beta plus alpha divided by 4x plus 2, let's say, some random thing. So what I'll do is I'll firstly put a bracket because the numerator has beta plus alpha. So I'll put bra backslash beta plus backslash alpha, right, bracket close, divided by, uh, what do we have now? Bracket 4x plus 2, all right? I hope this is clear with everybody. Now, uh, you, what you guys can do is you guys can go into the your own word file. You guys can try typing in this and once you're done, you can come back to the video. So I hope everybody's uh, tried this out and I hope everybody's comfortable with the fraction part. Okay, all that you need to remember is that you need to put the brackets correctly. If you don't put the brackets, um, your I mean, your equation will not get typed correctly because it will go the numerator and denominator wherever you want it, it will not go correctly. All right. 
ठीक है लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट लेट्स गो टू द एक्सपोनेंशियल पार्ट नाउ सो इफ आई वांट टू राइट e रेस टू एनीथिंग लेट्स आई वांट टू राइट e रेस टू 2 हाउ डू आई डू दैट ओके इट्स एक्चुअली अ पार्ट ऑफ योर सुपर स्क्रिप्ट बट आई एम स्टिल इंक्लूडिंग दैट एज एन अदर थिंग बिकॉज़ यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शंस टू डील विद सो आइदर यू कैन डू e रेस टू आई मीन e पावर 2 और व्हाट यू कैन राइट इज इफ देयर इज लाइक अ a lot of power like let's say we have e raised to 4x square plus 2x plus 2 let's say we have something like this very random so you will have to put as i have always already told you guys if you want the power to be a function you will have to put the bracket so 4x square so 4x again power 2 plus 2x plus 2 and then space so it will go in the power okay this is it's actually very simple if you don't want to do it what you can do is exp bracket exp bracket Uh, over here two, and for the next part it's exp bracket 4x square 4x power two plus 2x plus two. I hope this is clear with everybody. Okay, so th there are two ways of doing this. You can choose the one that you want. Okay, uh, I think uh, when you write it as e raised to, it looks more cleaner. But whatever, both the things are clearly acceptable. So you don't have to worry. All right, that's about the exponential one. So I don't think you guys need to try anything. So now let's look at sum or summation, and let's also look at how to put the limits. At the moment, let's say I want to write summation of x. Only summation of x. Let's include the limits a while after. So how do I do it? Uh, alt equal to that's something I hope everybody is comfortable with now. Backslash sum sum, and you put space. Backslash sum sum, you put uh, and then space. You will get your summation thing. And what do you want to put? Summation of x. That's it. Done. All right. Then what do you want to put? Let's say I want to put summation of x square plus 4x. Okay. So what do you do? Firstly, you put backslash sum sum of what bracket 4x square. So 4x to the power 2 plus. Uh, sorry, I had said x square plus 4x, right? But fine. I will do, do 4x square plus 2x. Doesn't matter. All right. That's it. Done. Whatever equation you want to put, you can put it. Okay. Preferable to put the brackets. There's no need as such. But if you put the bracket, it's uh, better. All right. Now what if I want to put? So I hope this is comfortable. Backslash s u m sum. You get that summation sign. Whatever you want after that. Now let's say if you want to put the limits. Let's go a little below. Let's say you want to put the limits. So let's say you want to do summation of x square uh, for x going from one to ten. For x going from one to ten. Okay. Now there are two ways of writing this. Um, alt equal to alt equal to uh, backslash sum. Obviously. Now, if I just want to put one to ten, and if I don't want to write like x equal to one to ten, then what I can do is uh, pay attention carefully. Underscore. So you press underscore after you get the summation sign. Underscore and then your lower limit. Let's say I want to my lower limit is one, and then the power sign or this hat sign, superscript sign, basically subscript and superscript sign. Uh, so subs uh, uh, subscript sign then your lower limit superscript sign and your upper limit let's say i want to count till 10 and you press space c see what has happened okay your limits have been taken correctly all right lower limit to upper limit okay and this is x square all right now let's say in the lower and the upper limit also okay by the way what happens over here is if you press space after this do you see the blue line so it gets it gets continued as the equation itself so what you have to do is you have to press the right arrow key Right arrow key and then the blue thing goes away. Okay, now you don't have the blue thing getting stretched. The right arrow key. Okay, now in some cases we do not just write one to ten. We write x equal to one to ten. So in case you want to write in that format, what you will have to do is again backslash sum sum space. Okay, uh, underscore. Now what do I want uh, to come in the lower limit? I want to Put x equal to one in the lower limit, right? If I want to put anything other than one number or one letter, I put a bracket. I hope everybody understands that. So x equal to one bracket close, sorry one bracket close. Now this becomes my entire lower limit. So underscore whatever you write becomes your lower limit. Whatever you want to write, you write an S O S, that will become your lower limit. Bad joke, I understand. Sorry, uh, uh, but yeah, that's your lower limit. Basically, lower limit, whatever you want to write, you put it in the bracket if it's not one number or one letter, so that it the entire thing goes into the 
uh, lower limit and upper limit also whatever you want to put it depends uh, uh, on whatever you want to put so put a bracket if it is more than uh, a number or it's a function or anything like that all right so now here the power that we want to put is uh, sorry the upper limit we want to put is 10 okay so space so do you see how it has come x equal to 1 to 10 so whatever you want to put in the lower limit you put underscore and that thing um, and then uh, that hat and then the upper limit all right now the equation let's say i want x square itself so x square space all right as i have told you this blue thing will stretch out if you do not if you just put a, a go on putting space so what you do is the right hand side arrow the right hand side arrow and it's gone all right so now it's separate otherwise it continues as that equation itself okay i hope everybody's understood let's say if you want uh, i'll do another one let's say if you have an equation in k so if you have an equation of let's say k cube plus uh, k cube minus k square the summation of k cube minus k square going from k equal to phi to infinity let's say okay or no let's not include infinity i have included it in later uh, in the coming part so phi to 15 let's say okay so all uh, okay all equal to is already there uh, sorry so we will do uh, some some uh, backslash sum underscore i want to put k equal to 5 uh, below so what i'll do is bracket k equal to 5 uh, bracket close power 15 right so done and then the equation is k cube minus k cube minus k square so k to the power 2 i hope everybody is understanding this all right again if you want to get rid of the blue thing because otherwise it will go on uh, i mean it will get carried forward as the equation itself uh, the right hand side key all right I hope this is clear so what i'd want you guys to do is again pause the video over here try this out uh, different different things that you have you can open your notes and check out uh, one or two summations and try to uh, input that into the uh, word and then once you're done you can resume the video great guys so i hope everybody is comfortable with the summation part now let's look at the product part all right so now what about the product so if you have product of so let me just show you the product sign so backslash prod becomes product okay so this is the product if i want to find the product of uh, x square uh, where x is going from again 1 to 10 i want to find the product that was the sum this is the product so again underscore x equal to 1 so x equal to 1 power 10 space again the same thing okay for integration also we are going to do exactly the same thing all right so there's no difference in this and whatever function you want let's say i want to put uh, the whole of let's say this thing what do we have let's say Poisson. let's say we are calculating the likelihood function okay and we were we are um, taking product of the entire pdf so what is the pdf e raised to minus lambda so we have e raised to okay by the way we need to put a bracket if you guys understand okay because we are going to do uh, this whole thing divided by something right so e raised to minus lambda so minus and then uh, backslash lambda l a m b d a lambda space okay so this thing will entirely and again another space because uh, one space was for that lambda and one is now for this to go into the power so e raised to minus lambda uh, okay now do you guys have a have a have a look at this above part so this multiplication sign i prefer to take it from here because uh, it looks really good and clean it's right above so you you don't even have to go anywhere and type anything so take the multiplication sign from there so e raised to minus lambda into lambda raised to x so again backslash l a m b d a uh, uh, space raised to x space and then bracket close divided by x factorial so x and then there is an exclamation mark right over here so you can do that or you have an exclamation mark in your keyboard as well you can do either of the two all right see how cleanly we have typed this equation all right i hope everybody is understanding the role of the bracket the role of the divided by and all of these things that's why i'm saying try it out with me why am i telling you guys to have a word file open right now and do everything with me is because you will understand through that much better than what you would understand just by looking at it okay otherwise what you'll have to do is you'll have to watch the video again while you're actually solving it so watch the video actually when you're solving it okay would save up a lot of your time all right so that's it i hope everybody's understood uh, it's the same thing i'll just repeat uh, again that backslash prod is the code for product all right so 
let me just keep it this way if you want okay so if you want go to the uh, go to your word file just type another pdf of something that you have uh, an entire pdf and the product of that uh, just the way we do when we're doing like load functions or for any other thing that you have in your uh, course uh, so the, do that i'll give you a five ten second pause so pause the video do that once you're done you can come back to the video All right, amazing guys. I hope everybody is comfortable with this. Now let's look at integration. The same thing, okay? Uh, Alt equal to, again, we have our function, uh, uh, the equation uh, tab. How do, how do you put integration backslash int? That's it, literally that's it, okay? Now underscore, we know how to put the lower and the upper limit. So let's say if I want to do integration of zero to 10 of x square. So I want the lower limit to be zero, zero, two, power 10 that's it 0 to 10 and then I have the function of x square so x power 2 done and dx so dx and then again uh, the right key the right arrow key whatever you would want to call it uh, so that you get out of that equation or oh, it's actually that easy right do you guys understand whatever equation you have then if you have like a bigger equation if you have anything uh, over there you can type it out let's say I have uh, integration of backslash int right again underscore is the lower limit so underscore uh, let's say again i want to do 0 to 5 now this time so underscore 0 hat 5 to the power 5 which means the limit will get changed to 0 to 5 okay now there's another way of doing this you have uh, an integral sign over here do you guys see this is getting activated this uh, integration sign over here is getting activated so here this also you have so you have something like this all right so you can just take it right from there as well but i think when we when you're on the uh, i mean on the keyboard you would want to use your uh, I, I mean use your mouse less uh, with the keyboard it gets very fast so that you know uh, you can use that but i've just shown you guys so you can use this thing as well if you do not want to put limits just put a function then you can take this thing and if you want to uh, take the integration with limits then you can take this thing all right i hope both the things are clear so i hope everybody is comfortable with integration and how to put the limits let's just do another one so that we are more comfortable with this um, let's just put another equation so let's say you have alt equal to again uh, and how do you put integration backslash int space you get integration okay if you don't want to put limits if you just want to write a function let's say x square plus 2x plus 4 so bracket x you don't need to put the bracket but for dx we say that the whole thing is uh, i mean we put bracket and then we write dx that's why i'm writing the bracket over here otherwise there is no other uh, typing logic for the bracket okay so x square plus 2x plus 4 bracket close dx all right and for numbers make sure you're using the num lock that is there on the right hand side all right the number pad that is there on the right hand side and not the uh, numbers that are there on top of your letters all right that uh, makes it a little more quick so if you want integration without limits you can write it this way if you have integration with limits then what you can do is again backslash int underscore let's say i want to put limits from 0 to 20 so underscore 0 power 20 of what function x square x power 2 plus 4 x okay so if you don't put space you should understand that if you are continuing a function anyway it, it gets um, converted into that so let's say x power 2 i did not press a space i directly pressed plus so then it got converted into that all right but if you press enter or if you get out of the tab then you have to make sure you put a space because let's see what will happen x power 2 and then i press enter see what happened or you know if you get out of get out of it something other than that will happen so just make sure you if you're continuing then there is no problem all right so x square plus 4x plus 3 dx sorry i typed another equation but I hope everybody is understanding because okay, so whatever equation it is and then let's say you have this into e raised to 0 0.04 let's say you have something like this so into so you have an into sign over here e raised to so e power uh, let's say 0 0.06 or let's say 6 x you have something like this all right so e power 6 x dx that's it okay so whatever equation you have you can type it out all right so what i would want you guys to do is again pause the video here try out different different take two or three answers that you've got those two or three answers try to type it in your word with the help of the integration and the limits that i've uh, taught you guys right now pause the video do that once you're done you can come back to the video
perfect i hope everybody is following this uh, so now what if integration is in power so let me just tell you that as well so let's say you have e raised to integration of something so then how do you do that let's say you have e raised to integration of uh, 6x let's say all right so what do you do alt equal to then e raised to firstly you get into the power all right what i suggest is get into the power otherwise what you can do is you can put the bracket also so let me just show you both the methods so what you firstly do is e power space so then that box comes and then you by back key by left and left arrow key you go to that box and then now you do the same thing int let's say from 0 to 6 of uh, 6x i want to do so 0 limits are 0 to 6 and 6x 6x dx that's it okay so done as easy as that okay now the way of doing that is i will show you guys uh, okay alt equal to again e raised to put the bracket whatever you want uh, it will go in the bracket so firstly get it done in the bracket so e raised to integration of 6x so integration of uh, what do you want so firstly you press integration of then you put limits over here itself 0 power 6 all right it, it, then uh, you do uh, and then once you press space or you start typing the equation it will automatic automatically uh, get converted into that and 6x so 6x dx that's it then complete the bracket because okay you'll have to uh, press the right arrow key to get out of that equation then you press the bracket then you press space so anyway it becomes the same thing all right so there are two ways of doing this i hope everybody is understanding if you want to put anything in the power first you can solve it in the bracket make it and then put space and then it goes in the bracket or what you can do is you can put the uh, after that power sign or that hat sign you can firstly press space then you can go back into that uh, upper equation itself and then you can solve it over there okay i hope this is clear i hope there's no confusion in this as well so wherever you want to put the integration basically backslash int underscore lower limit uh, and hat or that power sign and the above limit all right let's go to the next part so let's go to the derivative so how do you type the derivative all right very easy again it's just like writing a fraction so you're going to laugh at this so let's say i want to write dy by dx so dy by dx space done literally done that's it okay uh, so now you will not have obviously have dy by dx so let's say you have you're taking the derivative of the likelihood function so let's say d uh, l by d let's say you're doing theta so d backslash theta how do you type theta th -E -E space space done okay so whatever you want to do whatever it is that you want to do you can do it this way all right anything any any derivative of any function that you want the so derivative of um, whatever it is that you want let's say we're taking the derivative of fun uh, function p all right with respect to let's say over here alpha all right so dp this divided by sign because it's a fraction right it's as good as a fraction there's nothing like derivative in this we just i mean from the point of view of typing this is just like a fraction so whatever you want in the numerator you put it in the numerator and divided by d uh, as i said d alpha right so d backslash alpha so when you press space this alpha gets converted and when you press press another space the fraction uh, i mean the fraction uh, sign gets applied or you know gets converted into an actual fraction all right so i hope this is clear i hope there's no confusion in this all right i, I think uh, if you want you guys can go there uh, write the derivative but let me take, teach you the partial derivative also and then once you're done with the partial derivative then you can go there and solve all right so let me just teach you the partial derivative so for the partial derivative it's a i mean when you want to take partial derivative of any function so let's say again the log likelihood function you want to take the partial derivative of with respect to alpha so what you do is derivative or let's say partial derivative of function y with respect to variable x okay so what do you do alt equal to backslash p a r t i a l partial space c you get that symbol all right partial derivative symbol all right till now it was d so we didn't have to uh, make that symbol but this symbol we will have to make how do we do that backslash p a r t i l so partial derivative so you can remember partial x or sorry by divided by again partial what do we want in the new denominator partial so partial and then space and then x all right space done nothing difficult all right so instead of typing d what we'll have to do over here is just type backslash partial all right so let's say i'm taking partial derivative of uh, log likelihood or likelihood function and i'm um, uh, with respect to let's say beta all right so backslash partial 
okay so uh, this symbol comes and then uh, likelihood function divided by so make sure you don't put backslash over here okay mm -hmm. this is divided by and then again uh, backslash partial so i again need that symbol so partial and uh, i was uh, yeah with respect to beta so backslash b e t a beta done and then beta comes another space you have this thing okay so whatever you have instead of l you can substitute your function okay so whatever function you have you can put it over there all right i hope this is clear with everybody so now what i would want you guys to do is uh, take one or two of your questions which has partial derivatives and write those uh, try to write those uh, uh, functions or the partial derivative symbols and the derivative symbols uh, in your word file and get back to the video once you're done okay so pause and go there right now Now in limits, what we'll have to do is again alt equal to, then we press lim, okay, limit, underscore, underscore x tends to, let's say if I want to put 0, if I want to put x tends to 0, what I'll do is, underscore after that bracket, bracket x tends to, so x and then this hyphen sign, okay, right hand side of your 0, you just press it, you get this hyphen, and then left to your question mark uh, in the in the question uh, in the key where you have the full stop if you put uh, shift and that sign you will get this sign sorry let me just show you that sign this sign okay so what you have to press is this thing and then that sign and then it will get converted directly into that all right let me just show you again so what you do is you firstly press for this uh, tends to sign you will have to press the hyphen right hand side of your zero and then shift and uh, no space i'm just putting space so that it does not get converted but that hyphen and then uh, this thing uh, full stop uh, shift full stop so basically this greater than sign you will get all right and then once you press uh, uh, once you press space after that you will get it so i'm showing you again hyphen and then that symbol okay greater than symbol all right you get this so x tends to zero bracket close you put space you will get this limit of x tends to zero how cool right like this is i mean i think this is really cool i hope you guys are finding it cool as well so limit x tends to zero and whatever f of x you have over here all right whatever it is now i've taught you how to put the function so i show i'm sure everybody understands that okay and you put again do you see if, you, if i go on pressing space uh, it will get continued all right so if i want to put something after that i will press the right hand side arrow key all right i'll get out of that blue box then all right now let's say if we ha if i want to type something else let's say x tends to 2 so limit of sorry alt equal to then lim limit of bracket sorry underscore and then bracket x hyphen greater than sign 2 of whatever function i have bracket close and then you put space it goes in the denominator uh, sorry it goes in its place wherever it should be and f x whatever you have okay f x as in whatever you have see again i pressed space that blue thing was getting stretched so uh, right hand side arrow key and then you're done okay so what i'd want you guys to do is take two or three uh, functions that you have if you have x tends to infinity just wait for a while okay or let me just show you that and then you can do that then you can do practice 12 and 13 together so I'll show you how to press infinity uh, not equal to plus or minus uh, greater than equal to less than equal to all of these very easy first let's, let's talk about infinity the unicode for that uh, if you see you have an infinity sign right over here okay so you can just press this one as well as simple as that just as simple as that okay if not if you are in the typing mode if there if you're in the typing zone which i think is always going to happen so backslash i n f t y you don't have to press the spelling of infinity backslash i n f t y that's the code okay i n f t y you get it again i'll show it again backslash i n f t y all right backslash on this thing okay you guys can make a note of it simultaneously once i'm done with uh, this part i will anyway give you time to go to the your word file and do it right so that or else you can take it from the above okay this one you just have to press over there okay in case sometimes what happens by the way you see this thing but if you are still in the equation tab you will see something called as design over here so you come here again and you will see this whole part all okay? right cool let's go ahead uh, so that's about infinity now let me show you how to put the not equal to sign again very easy alt equal to then let's say i want to write x is not equal to 2 okay how do i write it x not equal to 2 what i'll do is i'll firstly press this sign this oblique or uh, divided by sign whatever you would want to call it okay that sign and then you just put equal to 
it gets converted into not equal to all right i was just going ahead and trying to show how to write uh, both the symbols separately okay if you want i can show it here what you do is you firstly press this sign and then you press equal to sign if you press these two simultaneously uh, one after the other sorry uh, you will get your not equal to so let me just put it again so basically i want to put x not equal to 2 so x this uh, uh, divided by sign or oblique equal to so it becomes not equal to 2 right if you want to write y not equal to 5 so i will write y this sign uh, equal to 5 all right done literally done that's it okay now let me show you plus or minus if you want to write plus or minus okay how do you do that plus or minus basically you type plus minus done plus and minus no code nothing at all you press plus and minus one after the other you will get this thing okay you have plus or minus here as well so you can do it from there but plus or minus is very easy it does not even have a code so it's better you do it this way only plus minus literally as easy as that okay so you guys can uh, do this this is plus or minus now greater than equal to again it's going to be very funny so uh, I mean it's actually that easy so greater than equal to I will firstly press greater than and then press equal to sign done so let me just show you separately let me come out of the equation tab so then I, I can show you what all I did so what I did was I pressed this greater than sign which is shift and full stop shift and full stop you will get this greater than sign and then equal to I pressed this and then I pressed equal to and then uh, if you put uh, if you press space after that you will get your answer okay no space when you're typing those two things those two things will be typed one after the other so let me show you again this thing I pressed this thing I typed this thing and then equal to then it becomes greater than equal to okay if I want to put less than equal to what I'll have to do is again less than sign which is just left of your which is your comma shift comma basically and then equal to it becomes less than equal to okay you have both the things over here so you can take less than equal to greater than equal to from here as well if you want okay but uh, if you do it this way it's i think uh, quicker all right so i hope everybody has understood the infinity sign so not equal to sign the plus or minus sign greater than equal to and less than equal to sign okay and i hope everybody understood the limits as well so let's do one limit with where it's equal to like x tends to infinity so limit of underscore bracket x tends to how do you do hyphen greater than sign x tends to infinity how do you write infinity two ways you can take it above from the uh, above part or backslash infty done okay and then space again so it goes goes to its position and then f of x whatever you have function all right i hope this is clear you guys can pause the video and do the limits part and all of these uh, infinity not equal to and all of these symbols practice these once you're done you can come back to the video now let's talk about x bar which is basically your mean or a bar below the x if you want to put what do you do so basically it's very easy but there's a code that you'll need to remember x you press then backslash b a r bar okay x backslash b a r bar that's it you get x bar but you see it, it's a little on the right hand side so what you do is you press another space and then it becomes exactly x bar okay so you'll have to press two spaces over here that's something you guys have to remember if you press only one space it will be a little on the right hand side so you press two spaces it will exactly be on top of it okay similarly whatever y bar if you want to put y backslash b a r bar you will have and two spaces and you will have it on top of um, whatever it is that you want okay if you want to put uh, whatever bar basically i hope everybody's understood so if you want to put bar on top of that uh, this is what you will have to do all right now if you want to put bar below x okay so which we usually uh, usually do to uh, denote the sample okay so what you do is x backslash u bar u b a r bar okay let me just show you again x backslash b a r uh, so u b a r u bar and you press space and you press space again because if you press space only once x backslash b a r let me show you if you press space oh i didn't spell x backslash i'm sorry u bar you press one space it will be again on the right hand side just like the bar uh, you press another one it will exactly be below x okay if you want capital x and uh, to do the same thing so capital x backslash u bar space uh, space it will go below x okay to denote the sample whatever it is that you have in your course you can use x bar and uh, u bar to do these two things okay i hope everybody is fine and comfortable with this let's move ahead with the square root and cube root part okay so again it has a code uh, if you don't want to use the code you have it uh, right over here you have it uh, you have the square root sign over here you have the cube root sign over here you have the fourth root sign over here so you can use this also if you want 
the square root part is very easy if you have a very weird root then you can use this radical one also okay then you have whatever root of what you have so let's say i have okay let me just start with the basic one and then i'll show you this thing so alt equal to i want to have square root so backslash s q r t you will have to remember these things okay but as i've said for seven days if you sit and do it you will remember it don't worry at all okay it's not difficult backslash s q r t space you get the square root sign okay now if you want square root of x only then x and space then it uh, gets covered in the whole thing but i want let's say square root of x square plus 4 so backslash x q r t space i will put bracket bracket you have to remember if you want that square root to go to this whole thing you'll have to put a bracket so x square sorry x square plus 4 x plus 6 whatever i mean whatever equation you want just put it in the bracket space and then you're done it gets to the whole thing all right i hope everybody is uh, underst understanding this thing if you want to use the radical form over here uh, it'll just be this thing and then you'll have to type the equation in this blue box okay you have to go there in that box then x square plus 4x plus 6 that's it okay so if you want you can use the radical if you want you can use the uh, unicode whatever it is that you guys are comfortable with now if you want to put cube root what you will do is again you have cube root over here you can use that if not what you can do is alt equal to then backslash backslash c b r t for it was s q r t for square root but this is cube root so cube root of whatever you want then let's say again x square plus 3 cube root of this if you want bracket is very important then it will become the entire cube root of all right now let me type something complicated so guys so that you guys will be comfortable with this so let's say alt equal to um, let's say I, I type the formula for sigma x which is the square uh, standard deviation of x basically so how do I do it? I firstly do backslash S I G M A sigma uh, underscore X because it's sigma X in the subscript underscore X equal to everybody knows the formula it's square root of uh, uh, it's root of X minus X bar the whole square divided by uh, N or uh, if it's S X then it will be N minus one. Okay, Right now I'll take N. So it will be equal to square root of so S Q R T. All right. Square root of. Now there are two ways, either you will have to put two brackets first, one bracket is for the square root and one bracket is for the fraction. One bracket is for square root, the entire square root and one bracket is for the fraction. So you'll have to put two brackets or what you can do is one bracket and then you can uh, just do, uh, like you can create a fraction first and then you can put in your values, okay, over here, alright. Or you'll have to put two brackets over here, so two brackets x minus x bar, so how do you press x bar? X backslash bar uh, bracket sorry space space then bracket close then power 2 so square divided by now it will go in the bracket and divided by what do you want divided by n so again space it will go in the bracket bracket close for the square root space and then you're done okay i hope everybody understood this thing i hope everybody understood why i put two brackets because two brackets were important one was for the square root one was for the denominator part all right uh, one was for the fraction part basically okay so you can type these complicated equations also you have to remember the brackets whenever you want something over something that if so, that something is not one number or one letter or not one unit like 2x works over there okay so 2x for 2x you don't have to put a bracket if you want 2x divided by so let me just show you if you want 2x divided by 5 so you can press 2x divided by 5 and it will happen so 2x is one unit but if you want 2 plus x divided by 5 that won't happen as it is so 2 plus x divided by 5 if you do see what you will get 2 plus x divided by 5 so then in that case what you will have to do is bracket 2 plus x and then divided by 5 okay i hope everybody has understood this thing and i hope everybody is comfortable so for any other root than uh, second and third cube root i would suggest you guys to alt equal to and use this radi uh, this uh, radical over here okay so use this format basically if you want to find nth root of uh, something okay by the way common radicals they've given you the formula over here so you can use the formula also over here so if you want to put this whole thing you don't have to type it you just can go there and so explore a little don't just rely on whatever i've told you guys explore your own ways uh, for two four days i think you can you know play around a little uh, with this software with this word uh, ms word and just try to find out different different things that i've also not told you so just do that yourself right 
Um, all right. So what I was telling you guys is, let's say I want to write nth root of x square. If I want to write a function saying nth root of x square, so alt equal to radical, this says nth root of x square. So n over here and then uh, with the arrows, right and left arrows, you will move over here. x power 2, space, done. Okay. So over here, if I tell you the Unicode, it's a little difficult, so I'm not going to tell you guys. So here, for this particular case, the radical is very easy, right? Then we have matrix okay i hope you guys are comfortable with this you guys can go ahead and type a few i think uh, equations square root cube root nth root whatever you have in your notes go ahead do that pause the video and then once you're done with that we can move to the matrix part all right great guys i hope everybody is done solving now let's look at the matrix part okay so the matrix part is also not at all difficult Again, there are two ways of doing. I will show you both the ways uh, and you can choose which one you find easy. I think in this, the Unicode part is a little difficult. Just the way in the square root part also I told you guys, like square root as an nth root if it is, you can use the function that is given directly instead of typing the Unicode. I'll show you both the methods. You can choose what you want. Let's say I want to, I have a two by two matrix, one, two, three, four. Okay, my row is one, two, my column is, uh, sorry, my first row is one, two, my second row is three, four. I want to type that. Okay, the first way of doing this is you select this bracket and in this bracket, you take the second one. In this bracket, you take the second one. So you get the square bracket and then you select the part inside. What do you do is you select that part inside. You take your cursor there, you press on that. It becomes blue. And once that becomes blue, you choose this. Uh, you, do you see matrix uh, given over here? Matrix whatever you want, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, uh, sorry, this is uh, 2 by 3, this is 3 by 2, this is whatever, whatever your power it is that you want 3 by 3, okay, you can do that, this is already 1 by 1, so I want 2 by 2, right, so I press 2 by 2, then I press on the first box, 1, right hand side arrow key 2, right hand side arrow key 3, right hand side arrow key 4, done, literally as easy as that, okay, uh, let me repeat, now let's say I have another matrix, which is 3, 4, uh, which is 5, 6, 7, 8, let's say, okay, the first thing, select the bracket, bracket, choose the box in that bracket, then in that matrix you go and you press these four boxes, you have one, two, three, four, all right, done, literally as easy as that, okay, now what you will do is uh, another way of doing this is Unicode format, I will tell you, so what you do is if you want a square bracket, a square bracket, um, backslash matrix, M-A-T-R-I-X, matrix, and then, uh, uh, this bracket cur curved bracket i will repeat again this thing okay and then backslash let me just increase the size i don't know why it went to 11 again yeah so this thing uh the square bracket basically because i want a squared matrix backslash matrix i will type matrix then i will press uh, shift and nine so this curved bracket so this bracket opens up and then whatever i have in the first row whatever I have in the, whatever numbers I have in the first row, I have one and two. So I will type it as one and two, one and two. Okay. Now when I want to move to the second row, I press at the rate. When I want to move to the second row, I press at the rate. So at the rate in the second row, what do I have? Three and four. So three and four. And then you complete this bracket. You complete the square bracket also. Then you press space, the bracket, uh, then you get your matrix. All right, we're doing it again. Let's say now I want three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, sorry, I typed again. Typed I think one, two, three, four in the above one. All right, I want five, six, seven, eight now. Okay, what I'll do is have a look again. Square bracket backslash matrix. I will type matrix, and you will see this. Uh, and then curved bracket. Okay, you will see this black box coming. Ignore it. Then I have five, six in the first row. So five and six. Sorry, five and oh. What is happening? 5 and 6 in the first row. Uh, and then at the rate, when you want to when you want to separate these things by two rows, what you do is uh, you press at the rate. So at the rate, 7 and 8. Okay. And then you complete the curved bracket first. Then you complete the square bracket. And then you press another space so that it becomes complete. Okay. Just the way, similar way you can make a 3 by 3 also. The similar way, let's say you want to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3 by 3, 2 by 3, whatever it is. In the first row, how many ever numbers you have from the first number to the second to the third, you press and in the middle and then you press at the rate uh, when you want to change your rows. Okay, so let's do a 3 by 3. 
two ways of doing this uh, alt equal to firstly always alt equal to is going to be the first thing so this thing is uh, by this method so i select the bracket uh, that i want then i press the box in the middle and then i make it 3 3 by 3 i want so then one uh, right hand side right arrow key two right key three right key four right key five right key six seven sorry seven eight nine done okay as easy as that all right now if i want to do it by the matrix uh, by the unicode method what i will do is bracket i will open firstly backslash matrix m a t r i x bracket open the cur curved bracket open uh, one And two and three and three. See if you've understood. Then at the rate because I'm changing the row four and five and six. Then again at the rate because I'm changing the row again seven and eight and nine. Sorry and nine. All right. Bracket curved bracket closed. Square bracket closed. Space and then you're done with the matrix. Okay, so whatever it is that you have, uh, I hope everybody has understood the code as well as the uh, the the selection format. Like you can just select the tools right over there. So you can do it with the tools already given to you or with the Unicode method. So I I will leave that up to you guys. But I think in this case at least the bracket and this format because at the rate and and you know sometimes you could get confused in the exam. So at least with this part because the code is a little complicated, you can use that. But if you're comfortable with the code, you can go ahead with the code. Okay, so it's completely up to you. So I hope everybody is comfortable with this. So let's just revise what all we did. Uh, so I want to go to the first part of it. I press Control Home. When I want to go to the first page, what I press is Control Home. If I want to go to the last part, I press Control End. So this is my last part. Okay, I've pressed a lot of uh, space bar, so it went a little ahead. Anyway, press Control Home again. I'm um, to the first part. The first thing that we learned was how to insert the equation tab. The second thing that we learned was Greek alphabet, just backslash and the spelling. Superscript, subscript. You press Shift six hat basically, and then underscore for the subscript. Then the fraction is just uh, uh, divide. It is this sign, oblique sign that divides the two things. You have to be careful about the brackets over here. Then the exponential, you can write it as exp and then the function, or you can write e then power subscript uh, superscript basically and whatever function that you have. Okay, if it's a function, you have to put a bracket. You have to remember this thing. Okay, then sum with and without limits. We saw both the things. Okay, whatever uh, uh, lower limit you want to put, you press uh, underscore and then that lower limit. If it's a function, if it's x equal to something, then you have to put a bracket. If it's just one and ten, then you just can press uh, underscore one uh, power ten. All right. I hope everybody is fine with this. And so yeah, sum was backslash sum, and product is backslash prod p r o d. Okay. And I hope everybody has made a note of this thing and solved it themselves, so they don't have to. Uh, I hope everybody has made the notes. You might have to watch this video again. Uh, uh, so that's okay. All right. Integration also backslash i n t is integration, literally as simple as that. Then underscore lower limit uh, uh, power sign above limit. The upper limit, basically. Okay. Integration and power also. I taught you guys two methods. I hope everybody remembers that as well. Then we looked at how to do the derivative, which is nothing but a fraction. So nothing different in that. In the partial derivative, I hope everybody understands how we got that symbol. Backslash partial. P a r t i a l partial. And we got this thing. Then the limits. I hope everybody remembers limit underscore l i m underscore bracket x hyphen and greater than sign. Then you get your tends to sign. And then whatever it is that you have, okay. Infinity two ways of taking it. One is you can directly view above and just click on that, or else you can use the Unicode which is backslash i n f t y. All right. Uh, less than equal to, greater than equal to, and not equal to. I hope everybody has understood that as well. It's literally very easy. Uh, then u bar and x bar, uh, sorry x bar and x u bar. I hope remember everybody has got that as well. Cube root, square root also everybody has got it. I hope you guys know that whenever you are putting anything in, into the square and cube root, you put that whole thing in under in like inside a bracket. Okay, inside a bracket. That's very important. All right. So that is it. And the last part, which is matrix. I told you two methods. I taught you two methods. One is the Unicode method, and the other is when you select directly from your Uh, tools that are there over here. Okay, the design part. Okay, so explore a little over here. You will get a lot of things that will be very interesting. 
and uh, that's it so we're going to stop over here again i'm going to repeat whatever i said in the beginning for seven days when you're practicing this you're going to keep your judgments aside you're going to absolutely keep your judgments aside you're not going to at every point of time you're typing something you're doing something um, you're not going to you know just get worried about a lot of stuff so just do it practice uh, what i would also suggest is uh, start typing text as well do not just focus on this mathematical typing because there's a lot of text also that you guys will have to type so make sure you're typing text as well as mathematical uh, equations and these matrices and all of all of the limits and all of these functions also you're doing as well as the text typing so make sure you're focused on both what i suggest is take some part of your notes of your course notes some part of your course notes where there is text as well as uh, there is uh, all of this mathematical stuff involved and start typing that part so then you can practice that as well as the mathematical symbol so you can choose your way but all that i'm saying is give yourself seven days before you come to any conclusion in seven days i mean i can almost bet that you will be much better than what you thought you could ever be all right so i hope uh, that is clear with you guys also a little before i go see i found this del symbol here okay so i didn't know about this so you can just find it out a little so instead of typing backslash partial you could have taken this del symbol directly over here okay so if you find you will get more and more things so you can do that as well so that's another way of writing partial derivative if you don't want to write in unicode format all right i hope you guys had fun i hope you guys found all of this very cool i wish you all the best i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys get comfortable with all of this do not worry chill out and i will see you guys very soon bye bye